morning, good morning, good morning. Happy, terrific Tuesday, wherever you are in the world. This is Joseph again speaking. I just thank God for life, health, and strength. I thank you for seeing another day. God is good all the time. I hope you all having a wonderful day in America and Caribbean, wherever you are. Okay, we are going on to Psalms 94, 1 to 23. And then I'm going on to the real estate investing, chapter 14. Okay, I hope you all enjoy because God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Put a praise to it. Sing hallelujah. Sing praises to the Lord. Because when you sing praises to the Lord all the time, Jesus is going to answer your prayers. Okay, so no matter what you're going through, Jesus loves you. Okay. Sing when the day is bright, sing to the darkest night, every day, all the way, all the way, every day. Let us sing, 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 trust in the Lord and don't miss it. He is a friend, so true, hallelujah, no matter what your troubles are, Jesus will see you true. Sing when the day is bright, sing to the darkest night, every day, all the way, all the way, every day, let us sing, sing, sing. Okay, so let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this day, Father Lord. Thank you for life, health, and strength. We thank you for seeing another day, Father Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus, Father Lord, that all around you, people who are listening to me, people who are going to work, Father Lord. I pray, Father Lord, Jesus, Father Lord, they uplift and inspire, Father Lord. Let them focus on you, Father Lord, Jesus, because you are the author, finisher of faith. I thank you, Lord, Jesus, for life, health, and strength to get up, Father Lord, for this word, Father Lord. I pray, Father Lord, Jesus, Father Lord, that people have a blessed day wherever they are in the world, Father Lord, America and Caribbean. As I'm about to bring forth your word for Lord I was about to bring forth your lecture it will be a blessing to the house it will uplift and transform their minds for the Lord in in a required way for the Lord so I'm about to bring everything into your care let the Holy Spirit lead and direct in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord amen so I hope you all taking on coffee I hope you all having a blessed day right but this morning I'm looking very sharp and clean today it is very very wonderful today but god is good all the time and all the time god is good you see when you have a when you in the presence of the lord you are a different individual when you are in the presence of the lord you have joy you have presence you have peace you have kindness you have every single thing but god is good all the time if you those of you all have all your pens all your reading materials all your writing materials all your holy bible or the king james version whatever new testament whatever bible you have amplified bible you could use it okay if you have any things to jot down get your chalkboard get whatever um pen notebook any pages anything right and if you want to take down notes, take down notes. But if you want to just relax, sit down and just drink a little uh, mild tea or your coffee or what have you, right? Some people with sugar without tea or whatever, right? You could just sit back and relax and watch, right? And enjoy every single thing because God is good. The Holy Spirit is very, very powerful than, and sharper than any two-edged sword okay so let us go on to psalms chapter 94 verse 1 to 23 okay so psalms 94 okay psalms 94 1 to 23 let us read oh lord God, you to whom vengeance belongs, O God, you to whom vengeance belongs, shine forth. Rise up, O judge of the earth. Render to the proud a fit compensation. Lord, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph and exalt? Right? They pour out aggrant words, speaking hard things. All the evil doers boast lotifully. Jude 14:15. They crush your people. 
O Lord, and afflict your heritage, they slay the widow and the transient stranger and murder the unprotected orphan. Yet they say the Lord does not see, neither does the God of Jacob notice it. Consider and understand, you stupid ones among the people, and you self-confident fools, when will you become wise? He who planted the air, shall he not hear? He who formed the eye, shall he not see? He who disciplines and instructs the nation, shall he not punish? He who teaches man knowledge. The Lord knows the thoughts of man that they are vain, empty, and futile, only a breath. First Corinthians 3.20 Blessed, happy, fortunate to be envied is a man whom you discipline and instruct, O Lord, and teach out of your law, that you may give him power to hold himself calm in the days of adversity until the inevitable pit of corruption is dug for the wicked. For the Lord will not cast off nor spurn his people, neither will he abandon his heritage. For justice will return to the uncompromisingly righteous, and all upright in heart would follow it. Verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Unless the Lord had been my help, I would have soon have dwelt in the land where is silence. When I said, My foot is slipping, your mercy and loving kindness, O Lord, held me up. In the multitude of my anxious thoughts within me, your comfort, cheer, and delight my soul. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with you? They who frame and hide their unrighteous doings under the sacred name of law. Verse 21, they band themselves together against the life of the consistently righteous and condemn the innocent to death. But the Lord has become my high tower and defense and my God, the rock of my refuge. And he was turned back. Those who are in the front, in the back, in the side, and in the middle, right? Hear this one. Last verse 23, and he has turned back upon them their own iniquity and will wipe them out by means of their own wickedness. The Lord our God will wipe them out. And Lord Jesus, I just pray for the Lord Jesus that Psalm 94, 1 to 23 will be a blessing to the house that Lord, they will focus on you. They will seek you daily, Father Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. As about to explain everything in, the care, in your care, in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord, amen. So... God is saying in Psalm 94, 1 to 23, right, that God has a throne above. God loves us with an unconditional love, okay? He sees, he knows, he knows the hearts of men, right? He wants us to know that he's a disciplined God, he's a merciful God, but he will crush the wicked. He will he will destroy them own he will destroy the haters he will destroy every single thing okay because god is a jealous god god loves us with an unconditional love he created us to do the, what is right right so we all have to worship god saints of god in spirit and in truth despite what is going on in the world we have to focus on the lord once you focus on the lord and you repent and do and surrender everything to the lord god is going to make a way in the wilderness right god is going to make a way and there seems to be a no way okay so in in verse 10 he who disciplines so god is disciplined and instructs the nations he instructs the nations of all the nations of all the earth right we have to we have to understand this with our own minds right we have to understand this right because God is telling us, right, that we have the power. We have the power to take down the adversary. We have the control because God gave us the dominion over the fish and the sea and the fowl and the birds. And we have the power, right? So I say, rise up. Rise up, O Jacob. Rise up. Rise up, children of God. Rise up, saints of God, right? Rise up and take your mantle. Rise up and, and God is going to bless you once you do that okay so in verse 15 for justice shall return so god is going to give the righteous justice right and fairness and restore every single thing that the enemy has destroyed right but the lord will come high to our defense he will defend his righteous people he will defend the saints of god he will he will reign we will reign forevermore with him in his kingdom right and he said you don't have to worry 
about the wicked you don't have to worry out that whatever people are coming against you the evil doers the workers of iniquity are coming against you. you don't have to worry all you have to worry is focus on me and seek me first and praise and worship and magnify my name because i am the lord god i will take care of that i will take care of all your needs i will supply everything to every single thing to you okay and the last verse and he has turned back upon them so god will god will make the god will destroy every form of witchcraft every form of haters god is going to destroy and and replace things in your life that for all these years the enemy has stolen whatever the enemy has planted whatever the enemy has planted in your life that is not good god is going to change wrong everything for your good god is again because according to jeremiah 29 11 for all things that do for all things work it for your own good for those who love god and are called to his purpose and we we have a purpose god has a plan and purpose for each and every one of our lives we have to just focus on him and seek him daily and and praise his holy name as just as i mentioned three times and god is going to make you someone right god is going to transfer by your new mind okay so your mind is going to be transformed and set apart for a different because consider and understand god is going to give you the wisdom the knowledge and the understanding because when you do that god is going to sanctify you and god is going to mold you and create you into what he wants you to be okay so yet they say the lord does not see neither does the god of jacob so god sees everything so the people and them of israel and all these things they didn't really understand, right? The Psalm David is saying, God is going to judge the earth. God is going to God is going to clean and wipe off the wicked. Right? That's what God is saying. Saints of God, we need to be more curious and more understanding about the word of the Lord. What God is saying. What did God say? Peace be still. Right? In in all the storms you go through, it will always have a calm in the storm. Always peace be still right peace be still all the time not one time but peace be still let god fight your battles right let god fight your battles right so i hope this psalm 94 1 to 23 will be a blessing but then we are going on to the lecture session right but let us pray heavenly father we just thank you for this short little bible study on psalms 94 1 to 20 i pray for the lord you will bless into the house of the father lord they will focus on you and they will know that they will depend on you father lord for such a time as this father lord i pray for the lord that the kingdom leaders and the kingdom body of christ for the lord will be Focus more on you, Father Lord, that we rejoice and they will be singing praises to you, Father Lord. They will be lifting up their voice, Father Lord. They will be reading the Bible, Father Lord. They will know, Father Lord, that you love them, Father Lord, with an unconditional love, Father Lord. That they will not they will not turn their eyes off of you, Father Lord, because you are the one that we are depending on, Father Lord. And thank you, Lord Jesus, just to come into your presence every morning to give a word, Father Lord, to your people, Father Lord, that, Lord, this will inspire, motivate them to come to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and be on the winning side, Father Lord. Because this, which side are you leaning on? I'm leaning on the Lord's side. Which side are you leaning on? I'm leaning on the Lord's side. I lean, I lean, I lean, I lean. So they will be leaning on the Lord's side for Lord. And I just thank you, Lord, for as about to bring your word about to bring your message on your lecture and your session father lord, i pray it will be a blessing to the hearts in the name of jesus christ the lord amen so let us sing that song which side are you leaning on i'm leaning on the lord's side which side are you leaning on i'm leaning on the lord's side i lean i lean i lean i lean leaning on the lord's side i lean i lean i lean i lean leaning on the lord's side i lean i lean i lean i lean leaning on the lord's side i lean i lean i lean i lean leaning on the lord's side which side are you leaning on i'm leaning on the lord's side which side are you leaning on? I leaning on the Lord's side. I lean, I lean, I lean, I lean, leaning on the Lord's side. I lean, I lean, I lean, I lean, 
leaning on the other side. Which side are you not leaning on? I'm not leaning on the, the enemy side. Which side are you not leaning on? I'm not leaning on the enemy side. I fall, I fall, I fall, I fall, fall off on the enemy side. I fall, I fall, I fall, I fall, fall off on the enemy side. Which side are you leaning on? I'm leaning on Jesus Christ side. This side are you leaning on? I'm leaning on Jesus Christ side. I lean, I lean, I lean, I lean, leaning on the Lord side. I lean, I lean, I lean, I lean, leaning on the Lord side. Okay, so I hope you love that action song. But God is good all the time. And let us go on to the real estate investing for beginners. Chapter 14, having repairs done. Okay. So I hope you all love this. So looking very wonderful today. So let us read there is no doubt that with a home something will eventually need to be repaired anything that is physical is subject to break or get out of shape at any given time people live in homes and things will break as a real estate investor you are obligated to make sure that your tenants are not living in danger it is important when something is reported as needing to be repaired that you will step up to the task okay so having repairs done is a very important task in a real estate investor life or journey okay so you have to you have to step up to the plate okay so or at least use funds to get a professional to do the repairs which is probably a better idea anyway some investors wouldn't dare touch a nail let alone a hammer which in real reality can keep them from getting burned out so always remember hire a professional to do the repairs right on your home even before you purchase a real estate property you need to include repairs so if before you need to include the repairs because nobody don't want to do it they want to get a professional and somebody who reliable okay something is always need is always going to need to be repaired or replaced no matter what that's just the nature of the real estate investing so no matter what you always have to replace or repair something in the real estate investing business okay repairs may be one of the last things that investors think about if at all what's more important to them is making sure that they receive their rent payments on time paying taxes and other related issues regarding money of course that's important too but it's usually the little things that they don't think about until something happens so pray until something happens is push right remember that okay so when something happens do not be late about it always remember seek a professional right call them and let them come and repair or replace the item or the purchase okay as a potential real investing in the investor it's important that you look at the property so look at the property carefully with your own two eyes before you rent it out to a tenant having an ex inspector can serve a backup plan they can help you find more things that need to be addressed some of those are minor cosmetic issues others and be a little more serious Either way, it's important that you have funds set aside for repairs. So you must have a backup plan. You must have something in case of anything go wrong. You have your repairs money, you have a replacement. Okay? Be careful when it comes to it. So be careful. Be cautious. Right? You don't want to purchase a property that requires a massive reworking. So you don't want to purchase a property that will require plenty of work and repairs and all these things. You have to purchase a property that will not have you um, doing a lot of work. Okay? so that will not only cost you time it will cost you and it will not cost you time right these things take time right it will not only cost you time but it will also cost you money if you don't have the the funds to back it up or reserve it up front then you will find yourself trapped and strapped for cash you will find yourself on a different on a kind of a life support right you will find yourself not having enough money to do this right so do not always have a backup plan right 
That's one reason why it is stressed that you as an investor have a reserve of funds set aside in advance. Set a budget for repair and replacement work. Otherwise, you should bypass that property and find one where you may have to do minor work on it. So that will be a task if you purchase a property that it will have you taking out money from your pocket all the time. It don't make any sense, okay? So... Also, when a repair has to be done, get it taken care of quickly as possible so conditions won't worsen. So, as quickly as possible, get repairs done and always remember to do it on time, right? If you don't have, because you must always have a backup plan, okay? So, just recapping, we dealt up with today, Psalms 94, 1 to 23, and I did tell you to focus on the Lord and Trust in the Lord and always remember that He loves and cares about us, okay? Cares about you and me, okay? And then we dealt up with real investing for beginners, right? Chapter 14, having repairs done. So having repairs done on the purchasing of property, okay? So I did explain to you that a real investor will be obligated to make sure that your tenants are not living in danger. So we are making sure that everybody live a better place once upon a time, okay? So we are making sure that we don't get on the wrong side of things. That we get, we have to be optimist, optimistic about what we are about, right? And focus and remember that we have to take care of the tenants as landlords, as real estate agents, we have to purchase first we have to be careful of what we are purchasing anything on the papers we have to be careful because it have plenty um ratchafi going around and all these things so we have to be careful and we have to seek a professional help or guidance help okay for that okay or go by a real estate agent who already doing it professionally and they will assist you into what you want to purchase okay but to avoid the disadvantages of, of you have to waste your time to repair and take out money and money and after money and you and you and you it will cause you to be bankrupt. Always remember have a backup plan on repairs, have some backup money, right? And all these things. Otherwise, it will not it won't make any sense. Okay? And always remember, look at your local listing or your international listing on real estate purchasing. Okay? So I hope this will be a little tip for you all. And I hope this will be a blessing. But God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. I just thank you, Lord Jesus, for life, health, and strength. I thank you, Lord, for every single thing. And Lord, in the name of Jesus, I just pray for our Lord that this short little video be a blessing to their hearts for the lord that it will uplift and transform their mind for the lord and for the lord that this real estate investing program for the lord be a blessing that those who want to go in real estate that lord they will not waste and hesitation for the lord Father Lord Jesus, you are the one in control. I just thank you, Lord Jesus, to come into your presence, for Lord, into your course of praise, for Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because your presence and your mercy and favor is new every morning. So I'm about to leave, Father Lord. I pray that, Father Lord, people have a blessed day, for Lord, a terrific Tuesday, for Lord, in Caribbean, in America, Father Lord. Wherever they are in the world, sunny, rainy, hail, oh, Father Lord, whatever they are going through, Father Lord, depend on you, Father Lord, because you are everything to us, Father Lord. So about to leave, Father Lord, I ask blessings in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I'm looking very wonderful today. Okay, so I, without no further ado, um, I'm going to read, right? I'm going to read this one minute. Fellowship with the Father and with His Son Jesus Christ. Okay, so this is communion. This is fellowshipping with the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, this is a biblical food for thought. Okay, 
What is it that occupies the heart of the Father? Isn't it the Son and all the glory of his person and his work? When the Son was here upon earth, all the fullness of the Godhead was pleased to dwell in him. Colossians 1.19 At the beginning of the Lord's public ministry, Luke 3.22 and also near the end, right? Matthew 17.5 The Father said, This is my beloved Son in whom I am found my delight. And after this came the work upon Gol Golgotha. What must this work have been for the Father. On this account, the Father loves me because I lay down my life that I may take it again. John 10, 17. Yes, the Father loves him. The one who voluntarily went to the cross. The one who died to glorify the name of God and to do his will. Who to this end bore our sins in his body. First Peter 2, 24. Was made sin for us. Second Corinthians 5, 21. Bore the judgment of God and was forsaken of him. And who was in all this was perfect. Christ, who by the eternal Spirit offered himself spotless to God. Hebrews 9.14 The Father tells us, This is my beloved Son, and respond, This is our beloved Savior. The Father says, Out of love to me, Ephesians, sorry, Exodus 21-5, to He bore all the sufferings upon Golgotha and completed the work, and we answer, Christ loved us and delivered himself up for us. Ephesians 5.2 And I personally say the Son of God who has loved me and given himself for me, Galatians 2.20. This same, this same glorious person that fills the heart of the Father also fills my heart. That the Father shows us the glory of the Son and we speak to the Father about everything that we have found in the Son. This is fellowship, common feelings, common interests. Right? Excuse my father, okay? Because I just read long and I just explain to people. I love to explain because God is good. The Holy Spirit is working, man. The Holy Spirit is working. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The same person fills our hearts with pleasure and joy. And isn't it so with the Son too? He has revealed the Father to us. We have heard him say, Abba, Father. Mark 14, 36. And now we too say, Abba, Father. Romans 8. 15. Isn't this the highest of all privileges to understand God, yes, to know Him? Not only to enjoy His blessings and divine things, but to enjoy God Himself, to have fellowship in this with God the Father and God the Son. There is nothing more sublime. If we make this a real reality in our lives, our hearts will be perfectly happy here on earth already. That is why the Apostle says, And these things write we to you, that your joy may be fulfilled. 1 John 1 4. So, saints of God, that is what God wants us to do. We have to fellowship with him in Christ Jesus. We have to worship him in spirit and in truth. We don't have to go back in our ways. Once we go back in our ways, we are not like we are lost sheep and the sheep of his past. Yeah. So, once we go back in our old ways, we can confess our sins because he's faithful and just to forgive us. And once we do that, we have a happiness, we have a hope. We have a blessed hope in, and a blessed assurance in Jesus Christ. Okay? So. So we have a blessed hope in Jesus Christ. And once we fill our lives with the Holy Ghost, we are pouring out. Once we pour out our lives with the Holy Ghost and Jesus Christ is mediocre, we are, have assurance, we have a blessed eternal life with him because once you have fellowship the father son and the holy spirit is three in one that is the holy trinity okay so i hope this biblical food for thought will be a blessing to all your hearts that all you will focus on the lord or we will know that god loves you do not go back in all your ways but not lean on your own side but trust in the lord with all your heart and he will give you every single thing he is the one that we have to lean on to, we have to count on to, and these things, okay? So I hope this biblical food for thought will be a blessing, that all you will motivate all your family lives, inspire, let all your children know about the Lord, tell them about the Lord, tell people about the Lord, and that will encourage this world to be a better place to live in. Despite what is going on, pray for your family, pray for your friends, pray for your leaders, pray for everybody. Because prayer does change things to God, okay? 
so love you with the love that you just but let us pray heavenly father i just thank you for this day father lord i thank you for father lord giving me every single thing every tool and strategy to give your people father lord i pray father lord, you have a blessed day father lord in the name of jesus christ i pray that this biblical food for thought will be a blessing to their hearts that father lord they will focus they will seek you father lord and they will know that uh, how to come to fellowship in christ jesus so about to leave father lord about to leave i just pray that you have a blessed day a blessed terrific tuesday in america and caribbean all around the world in the name of jesus christ our lord amen so you have a blessed blessed day tomorrow i will be seeing you on bible study tomorrow right focus on the lord jesus christ and he will give you every single thing because knowledge is power remember that right love yourself right love yourself first love does conquer all okay so love you with the love of jesus and i'll see you all tomorrow okay bye and sorry for that interruption because i love the lord so much with all my heart i just love the lord thank you lord jesus thank you lord thank you lord for your mercy favor and grace new every morning thank you lord jesus okay so love you with the love of jesus and bye bye